Hello everyone, it's Roxy and welcome down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Blue Wallet. Blue Wallet is a hot mobile wallet, meaning that it is connected to internet, but it is really convenient and free. It's a great wallet if you want to accept Bitcoin for your business for the first time or if you just want to try out Lightning Network. The wallet is free, of course, but you shouldn't keep more than like 2K in it simply because it's not secured enough for large amount of Bitcoin. If you need large amount of Bitcoin, use a hardware wallet, which is called. So what I really like about Blue Wallet is that there's three wallets within one, meaning that you can have a Bitcoin wallet, a Lightning wallet, and a Vault wallet for large amount. Uh, I'm not gonna cover the Vault wallet in this tutorial. I'm only gonna cover the Bitcoin and Lightning wallet. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. So you just want to go to your App Store and type Blue Wallet. B-L-U-U, -U, Blue Wallet, it's in English, so you should be okay. Uh, Blue Wallet, and it's the second one, don't fall for the advertisement, and you just uh, download it. I'm just gonna open it since I already have it on my phone and I've already done the tutorial in French, as you will see. Uh, so that is how the wallet is presented. This is my test wallet, this is for the French tutorial, and you should get here. So we just had a new wallet and you're just gonna press add a new wallet. Before we do that, let's change a couple of settings. So we're just gonna change the language to English for you, but if it's another language, just change it for yourself. And the currency is gonna be Euro, let's move it to USD. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna press add a new wallet, and then we're gonna write the name of the wallet. So if it is your personal wallet, write it down if it's for your business write it down separate the two and then you're just gonna we're just gonna name it uh, btc tutorial english since it's the english part of the tutorial i do those tutorial in three languages we're gonna press bitcoin because we want a bitcoin wallet first and then we're gonna get a lightning wallet i'm gonna explain to you why and we're gonna press create what you're gonna see on the screen now is the private key. It is the mnemonic phrase. It is a list of 12 words that represent the backup of the wallet and therefore the Bitcoins. If someone can see or has access to this list of 12 words, he can, he can have access to the Bitcoin because he can simply recreate the wallet. If you lose your phone, you will need those 12 words to recreate the wallet and therefore have access to your phones. So there's a couple of rules when we're here. You're gonna write down those 12 words on a piece of paper neatly in capital letter so anyone can read you. It's not because a shift could read you, it's because your kids need to read you. And I know how bad the handwriting of my mom is. So please make an effort. You can uh, see the template next to me. You can download it directly in the description. I made it easy for everyone to have like a simple, clear, neat template uh, where at the top you're going to put that it's a blue wallet software, then it's going to be Bitcoin, you're going to put the pin at the top right, and you're going to write down the 12 words. It is only 12 words compared to 24 words as it is usually more common for the hardware wallet. It doesn't mean it's less secured, it's, it's still highly secure, uh, but it's good enough for the use case of a mobile phone, wallet, which is like day-to-day -day spending. All right, so I hope you wrote down the private key correctly. Now you make a copy and you keep it in a safe location. Two different locations, just in case one burn, one get wet, one get destroyed, you have access to the backup somewhere else. Do not take a screenshot of this screen, do not put it online, don't take a photo of it, and don't put it on the contact information of some of our new phone. Just I know some people do that, don't do it, just keep it offline, keep it on the paper. All right, so we good. We now have a wallet, and if we press on it, we can see that there is no transaction, and they offer you to buy Bitcoin, send, or receive. I will not be talking about the buy Bitcoin option, simply because I've never used it, and if I don't use something, I'm not gonna recommend it to you. I don't use the wallet buy solution, usually, simply because I like to separate things to get more privacy and also I already have my solution with like a dollar cost average solution like Swan Bitcoin, Relay or Stacking Set, whatever. So I, I usually don't use it. 
But if you want to buy Bitcoin through that app, you can just know that it's probably going to be KYC and it's probably going to be, um, there's going to be some fee that are probably higher than the competitors. But I'm not sure of that. Anyway, what we want is to receive or send Bitcoin. So let's start with receive. If you press receive, they're going to ask you if you are sure that you have the backup. And we have because you wrote it down. We're going to have a QR code. The QR code and the address below that you can copy past represent your Bitcoin address, which is going to be used to receive some funds. So if someone needs to pay you, you show him that, you take a screenshot of that and you send it to him, you copy paste it and you send it to him, and that person will be able to send you some Bitcoin. So if you need to receive the, your first Bitcoin, simply do that and the Bitcoin are going to get here on your wallet, which is backed up by the, 20, the 12 words you wrote. That's as easy as that. You can add a custom amount to, for example, make a bill to a client. And in that case, you're going to press receive with amount. You're going to put the amount either in Bitcoin, dollar or Satoshi. For example, here we're going to add 20,000 Satoshi, which is $8. And we add the description, which is paying for uh, editing because I need some people that do the editing for me. Sadly, I don't have enough money, so I do the editing myself. Uh, not that I don't have enough money, but because we are producing, producing more than 20 or 25 videos a month, uh, it gets really expensive at some point, so I just do it myself on my spare time, well, whenever I have. Anyway, so paying for editing, and we press, ah, well, the corrector to put something else, but paying for X, create, and here we go. We now have a bill. We can send that to the person, and if we copy paste it and we send it, the other person is going to pay me exactly this amount. And you can see it right here. I'm going to go on a different wallet, a Bitcoin wallet that I have already loaded. And here I'm going to say press send, meaning that now I want to send money to someone. For example, I press send. I'm going to copy paste the address here past and automatically it's going to recognize that I need to pay $8.13 or 20,000 Satoshi and they're going to say page for X. So the description, which would be whatever I wrote. I can then choose to change the fee. This is really important, especially if the network is highly congested. So meaning that a lot of people are using it and the fee are expensive. And also if you have a lot of time. So basically if you're going to press on the fee, you can see that you have three options. The first option is fast. You're going to pay 1,300 fee. The second is medium and you're only going to pay uh, 182 Satoshi is a fee and low and slow is also the same. Basically what matters is the weight of the transaction, but more importantly, because you probably don't know the weight of the transaction is going to be the Satoshi byte on the right. So when you are in a hurry, and you want the payment to go through rapidly on the Bitcoin blockchain, you're going to go fast and pay a high price for the miner to the transaction. So the transaction is added on the next block. If you are not in a hurry, then you can simply lower the amount you're going to be paying to the miners. So one Satoshi byte, for example, two, three. And the transaction is still going to be validated at some point, but maybe not within the next 10 minutes. Maybe it's going to take half an hour, two hours, a day, two days. We don't know, simply because we are waiting for the miner to accept our offer and add it on the Bitcoin blockchain. So the fee is a different topic. I'm sure I have some Q&A or some content on the website, thebitcoinrabbithole.com, where I talk about fees. But depending on how much of a hurry you are and how much the network is busy, you're going to adapt it. And then you just press send and confirm. I'm not going to do it simply because I'm doing it in three languages and I don't have enough anyway since uh, I don't have the balance right now. Uh, once you press send, you're going to see something interesting. You're going to see that the transaction is pending, meaning that they would say you have received the money, but it is not confirmed by the Bitcoin blockchain, which is completely normal. And Basically, if we press to, if you, if we check an old transaction that I can find here, 
as you can see, there is six plus confirmation, meaning that this transaction has been mined into the Bitcoin network and is confirmed. The money is mine. However, if you have a new transaction, as long as it's not on the Bitcoin blockchain, wrote it down, it is not valid. So it's important for you as a business owner or a user to understand that as long as you do not see one confirmation at least, it does mean that the money is not yours and that the person can cancel the transaction and not and, and you won't receive the money. So if you sell a good or services in Bitcoin, do not give the owner, the person, the product until you see one confirmation because he can cancel it. When you see one confirmation, it should be good. When I say it should is because 99.999% of the time it's going to be good, but there's still a slice margin of error. error. That's why we're going to say, hey, you should wait two confirmation or more. If you are sending billions, then maybe wait six confirmation. But that's out of the tutorial subject. Anyway, and so then when you get a confirmation, you received it. The average for a Bitcoin block is 10 minutes. It's an average, so it can go really fast. You can get a block in one minute, be in it, and it's good to go. Or you can wait 30 minutes, an hour, because no one finds a block. It's purely based on luck. So I hope the odds are on your favor. This is basically how to use the Bitcoin wallet of the Blue Wallet. Now, what's really interesting about Blue Wallet is that it allows you within the same app to have a lot of wallets. And so we're going to create immediately a second wallet, which is going to be like the seventh for my app. Uh, and it's going to be Lightning Wallet Tutorial uh, English. And I'm just going to press Lightning and then Create. Important note for the more tech savvy person here, you could connect the Blue Wallet Lightning Wallet directly to your Bitcoin nodes. So if you have Embrel, if you are using Embrel, if uh, you have your own node like that and you have already some channels and uh, liquidity, you could connect that wallet directly to yours and use that liquidity, which is super convenient. But for most people, it won't be the case. So you can simply press correct, uh, connect. It's going to be OK. What you're going to see now on the screen is the backup of your Lightning wallet, which is super important. So you're going to take a screenshot this time. <laughs> I know it's complicated, but like while you wrote down the 12 words, you're going to take a screenshot of this wallet. And that is OK. So you just copy paste it, you save it somewhere, you save it on your drive, you encrypt it if needed, you save it somewhere safe because this represents the backup in case you lose your phone. All right. OK, I have it. And that's it. Here you go. You have your wallet. Your wallet is ready. Now you have a multiple option for it. The first option is simply to send or receive. However, to send, you need to have some Bitcoin. So if you cannot receive it from, for example, someone else, uh, like I would just do right now. So yes, I have the backup. I want to receive 100 Satoshi, 0 0.04 cent. I'm going to say create an invoice. The invoice is going to be created. I'm just going to copy past it. And I'm going to go on another Lightning wallet that I have or that my customer have. And he's going to either scan the QR code, as you may have guessed, or he's going to simply send it. So for example, I'm going to go in the French Lightning tutorial and I'm going to press send. I'm going to copy past the invoice, which is going to be like, hey, I want to pay or please pay me 100 Satoshi, which is 0 0.04 cent and I'm going to pay. And it's done. So exactly like any wallet will work. And now, as you can see, the money is literally sent. And if I go to my new English wallet, I now have the found. Here we go, 100 Satoshi. What's interesting here is like you may have noticed on the screen, we paid two Satoshi for the fee, which is basically zero. It is extremely cheap. And at the same time, you just saw that it's instant, instant, meaning that I have the money and I'm sure I have it. So if a customer 
ask to pay in Bitcoin in your shop, you should be able to have a Lightning wallet and a Bitcoin wallet so that depending on how he wants to pay, you accept it. If he pays with Bitcoin, you wait a confirmation and he's going to be paying around 200 to 1K Satoshi fee. But if he pays with Lightning, he's going to pay two Satoshi, which is like 100X cheaper. And it's going to be instant and instant, meaning that you received it and you have it. So it's good to go with the coffee. So if you're a bar, you should probably accept Lightning. That's basically how you do it. If you do not have anyone to send you some uh, Lightning uh, Bitcoin, you can simply please press Manage Fund and then you can buy it with a, a, car, a, a card. You can get it from an exchange if they accept, but very few exchange accept that. Or you can simply refill it with an external wallet. So you take like your Embraer or you take some other Lightning wallet like Breeze or Wallet of Satoshi and then you refill it from that. So basically you just send yourself some Bitcoin or you press refill. And when you press refill, you're going to choose a Bitcoin wallet. It can be your own or your ledger or your Trevor, whatever. And you press on it and automatically you say how much you want to put in it. And what's going to happen here is that it's going to create an on-chain transaction from your Bitcoin wallet, which is going to send the Bitcoin into your Lightning wallet. This transaction need two confirmation to work simply because that's how the Lightning Network work. And I'm not going to go into details with Lightning Network. If you want, we uh, posted a crash course on it last week that you can check. And within one hour, be aware of how that, that layer two uh, protocol works. Uh, but basically, it's going to confirm within two transactions and then the money is going to arrive in Lightning and you would be able to spend it really easily as you do so. This is basically all for the wallet, which is really convenient is that you can have a lot of wallet within the same app. So you can have like one Bitcoin and one Lightning wallet for your personal use case and one Bitcoin and one Lightning wallet for your business use case. Uh, and if you have multiple business, then you know how it is. The last thing for the technical person out there is that you should probably in the main settings connect uh, this wallet to your node if you have one. So if you have an Embrel, if you are using a Bitcoin node, again, those type of things, uh, you can simply connect here using uh, Electrum servers. And within the Embrel app, you will do the information matchup, which will basically say, every time I use my phone, and so the Blue Wallet app, it sends the information to my node, my own personal Bitcoin server, and my server is going to communicate to the whole network. By doing that, you gain back privacy and you gain back sovereignty because you don't trust anyone. It's lit literally your mobile phone wallet speaking to your own node to the network. So it's not the mobile is talking to some random other servers owned by a big corporation. It's your own data which is extremely important. Uh, if you need more details, I'm sure you can find it on, the, on, on thebitcoinrabbithole.com, our website. Um, that's it for the wallet. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's clear. I hope you understand and you are more uh, confident to use it, I'd say. It's free, so try it. Uh, it's really straightforward. It's a really good wallet. I will highly recommend you to write down the description on every invoice or, or on every transaction you do, so you keep track of your accounting. Uh, but beside that, you have now all the information. Thank you so much for sticking by. I hope it helps. Thank you for sharing, liking. You can follow us on social media, Bitcoin Studies on Twitter, it's the new one, and thebitcoinrabbital.com. Thanks to the people that make it possible to produce these videos all in three languages, you rock. I will see you around, bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on the social media. And if you want to support my work so I can keep producing formation, video tutorials, games in French, English, and Spanish for free, you can do so with the e-commerce, Bitcoin or Lightning donation, or directly through a Patreon for Fiat. Thank you, and I will see you around. Bye-bye.